Hello and welcome back to another video and this one's going to be the latest WM33 this I've restored. I've done a few of these mainly because this era uh, of kind of mid 80s um, cassette players is my favourite. It's that time when the looks are really nice, the functionality is quite simple and it harks back to that era. Uh, because I've done a few you'll find, uh, you'll find a number of those videos in the playlist. Um, so I'm not really going to dwell too much on this time, it'll be a, a condition and a, and a demo. Uh, one Walkman that I do have in that I haven't done, uh, um, looked at before is this one here, uh, which is a WM FX495. I'm going to film that one after I fil film this one and the link uh, will be at the end of the video. So. Kicking off, you've got the WM-33, as I mentioned. This one is kind of a black and silver, but actually the black is more of a, a graphite. You can just kind of pick up that graphite color, which is really nice, Gra graphite or kind of a gun metal. Nice to have the It's a Walkman sticker still on here. Um, minimal wear on the front, so, you know, very mild scratching there. Tiny little mark there. As we move around the side on these ones, you have your normal and your metal option. Your headphone jack and volume uh, let's keep going around the back no belt clip on this one uh, and what i also think is this is um for the right model but not necessarily this one because you can see this is more of a gloss black and this is more of a matte black so i think at some point in its life that's been put on but it's not a repro it's just from a different one i think so that's on there you never have anything on this side down at the bottom you've got the uh the dc three volt in i don't know anyone who's ever used a DC power supply for a cassette player. Uh, up at the top you have your uh, light that comes on when, when the batteries are in and you press play. Play, fast forward, rewind and stop. And then on the front I should have mentioned you've got your equaliser to change the highs, the mids and the lows which will demonstrate. Inside, always worth checking that you've got both arms on these, they're prone to breaking off. Um, and that's that. Inside, uh, I've stripped it down, changed the belt, cleaned it out. I've had a fair few of these come through my hand and I've got to say the inside of this one was immaculate. So um, a really good sign that it's not been used that much uh, and it plays really well, nice and clear. I've speed calibrated it as well using software so it's going to play back at exactly the right speed. So that's uh, that's everything on there. So yeah, just, you know, it's, it's very good condition. You just got this probably um, re replacement one there and nothing else to really mention. So we'll pop some batteries in. So, um, you know, you just slide off the back. Another thing that can go missing as well is there's a, there's a little bit of uh, foam that sits just beneath there. It's uh, present on this one. So I pop those in. And um, as ever, I'm gonna use these passive speakers. So passive meaning I don't have to use any external uh, power to generate them, the uh, SRS3s, plug them into the headphone jack and for this demo I've just grabbed Jimmy Somerville, uh, shameless plug, this, this and lots of the retro items available on my eBay store, links in my channel about or down in the description. So popping the tape cassette in, I can see it's at the beginning so I'm, I'm probably going to have to in fact, that could even be the end. Either or, I'm going to have to fast forward or, or rewind to get us into it. I'll also be chopping in and out so I don't get a copyright strike. Uh, so let's play. It's playing, so we're going to need to fast forward, but it's a good opportunity to show stop, fast forward. You can see the light comes on when it operates. Nice uh, fast forwarding speed. In reality, you're, you're seeing it looks like it's slow, but actually in reality, that's going really quickly. And rewind, again, it's going much faster here. It's just frame rates. So we'll fast forward that and get ourselves into the music. See, nice and loud, nice and clear. So no crackling or anything, lovely sound. I own one of these and this is probably sounds even better, but I, I'm a sucker for always keeping the first one that I, uh, that I, I um, restored so otherwise i'd probably keep this one sound wise so that's your, that's your music and then you can hear the alt that the highs being adjusted you can hear the mids and the bass I'll just back that down and get some vocals So that's literally it, a very quick demo of the WM33 
33, in very good condition, slight nick there, ever so lightweight wear there, lovely graphite uh, finish, uh, no belt clip, We've got a replacement I think at some point in its life here, correct model but probably the wrong colour, plays back really nicely. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps this small channel grow. And uh, until the next one, all the best. Take care and see you.